Hello again. In this video, we'll have another example. Suppose that the random variable um, x uniformly distributed over the interval of minus pi over 2 and pi over 2 and y to be um, equal to sine of x. And let's say we want to find the distribution of sine of x. So what we could write is that moment uh, characteristic function of um, y uh, is equal to integral over the range of uh, values that y can take on from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power j omega and this is y is sine of x and then times p defined and um, obviously this guy is uh, fx of x is equal to uh, non-zero values uh, only for the interval uh, values of uh, uh, y being uh, because sine of um, y is always between 0 and 1, uh, okay, so y don't take values outside of 1, and x do not take value outside of minus pi to uh, pi over 2. So the range of variation for x uh, will become minus pi over 2 and pi over 2, and fx of x in this interval is equal to 1 over uh, pi. So you will get dx divided over pi, and then you get this integral. So uh, what I can do is to change the dummy variable in this integral and say, okay, I use uh, y equal to uh, sine of x. Over this interval, when x varies from um, uh, minus uh, pi over 2 and then uh, uh, pi over 2, the sine function is a function like that. So you have uh, uh, minus 1 and 1. And then at this point, so you have a curve like that. So there is a relationship one, one to one. So if I do that, dy is equal to derivative of sine of x.